so I haven't talked about CPTSD for a while. One of the lessons I've learned through this process of my own psyche um, has been the value of grief and how searching for answers, staying active, tends to be avoiding the grief. And at the end of the day, the grief is just a really crappy emotion. And it's not going to be denied because you feel it. It's the mm -hmm. same thing with the lust, right? Like you felt it. You, you can't deny that it felt. It's not going to stop feeling. It's what, you know, see that there's a difference between your heart and your mouth and your hands, though. It's important. Yeah. Um, but you feel that grief. In this case, you have to let it feel in the body. And then um, personally, what I've found is that means that uh, I need to cry. But, you know, I just have to. And I, uh, CPTSD makes this happen more often than most people have to deal with. But, you know, if you're dealing with a severe situation like you are, and if you've never wept over it, um, I would suggest that, that Jesus wept for good reason. And that uh, tears, grief, and pain are very healthy things that most people don't have the freedom to pursue. Uh, but that, again, the Christian solidarity, the, the platform of Jesus, that he is under us, not over us. Um, I mean, he's over us, too, but you know what I mean? Like, we're standing on him. He's behind us, not in front of us. Um, that, that is the power to begin to pick apart your own heart, again, a uh, piece at a time. And that will mean, then, unearthing the grief and learning to cry if you haven't. I mean, you already have, right? Um, but learning to cry, uh, it... It does something chemically in the head with the grief that's in the chest, pulls it through the eyes. Um, amazingly, I've been learning to smile in my tears recently, and it's not always, but well, I like that. I like that. So grief, grief takes time. We don't got time. Got to go get busy. Keep moving.